Good morning. May the fourth be with you. I'm going to be sending out a directed drawing today for my students just as a fun thing for Star Wars Day because I would have done something in the classroom so I wanted to do a little something virtually. So it's going to be a video from Art for Kids Hub and it's a baby Yoda and I'll link it below in case you want to do it sometime. It's really fun and I love the Art for Kids Hub videos because they're very kid friendly. The, if you've never seen them, they're awesome. The artist is a dad and a lot of times he has his son on there drawing with him. This time I think on the baby Yoda one it's his wife that's helping. So that's kind of new for me. But it ought to be entertaining. He's always very personable and fun. And it's just the kids enjoy it. The kids enjoy those, so I think they'll really like this one. I'm headed to my classroom because we're cleaning out the student supplies today. And one of our local grocery stores, hy -Vee, donated tons and tons of paper big grocery bags so that we have something sturdy to put the student supplies in. I knew for my students that like a Walmart bag or a Target bag wasn't going to be big enough because some of the kids have jackets and shoes and just all kinds of randomness in their cubbies. The last time we were in our room was March 13th. It seems longer ago than what it actually was because I feel like so much has happened, so much has changed in our world since that day. It's just very strange. I'm also going to be sending out my happy mail today, so my flat Mrs. Bonds will be going out. So students should probably be getting those by Wednesday. That'll be exciting to start getting pictures of the adventures that I'm on with my students. I cannot wait. I hope they all participate. Also, my little squishes with the hearts will be going out in the envelopes today. Speaking of envelopes, I told you that I wasn't getting them delivered like they're supposed to be. There's some kind of delay, and I checked on them again, and there's no tracking information. So I even emailed the person shipping them and asked about when they might arrive. And I just got like a form email back, like a form response back from the email that said, if you're contacting us about shipping, please check the tracking information on Amazon. And I'm like, well, on Amazon it says to contact the seller. <laughs> so I kind of went around in circles there. That didn't do me any good, but whatever. They'll get here when they get here. But I needed those envelopes today. So Walmart does carry them, but I told you that I did not go to Walmart because I didn't deem that an essential thing. I didn't think I needed to get out in the world just to get envelopes. I could wait for Amazon to deliver them and then it just didn't happen. So my husband and I had decided to get Taco Bell last night for dinner because my daughter works there in the town that I work in where I'm headed right now. So we stopped by the Walmart in my town on the way out to see if they had the envelopes that I needed and they had the same type but not the right colors. They had the pastels and I wanted the brights. So we kept on going and we went to the Walmart in the town where I work. And lo and behold, they have them. Yay! So I have those in my bag to take to school. And I got to see Caitlin at work. So that was kind of cool. So her boyfriend took our order and then she took our money, which is typical. <laughs> Today will be interesting. Um, cleaning out the classroom is always kind of sad, but this is really just a totally different feeling. It's it's a mix, and I know you all know what I'm talking about, so I won't go into that, but I'm sure I'll also have lots of happy memories that come into my brain as I'm moving things around. Also, I need to finish up the kids' memory boxes because I told you last time I was there that I had found that other stack of stuff. Now, as the stack of stuff is not like tens of thousands of things or anything like that. It's probably like three different things, so that will not take a long time. I also need to take down the students' terrific kid posters off my wall the ones that haven't already fallen down <laughs> and put those in their boxes too. I'm happy that I'm going to get to see my teammates. We're all, all of second grade is working in their classrooms today, so we'll get to see each other at least in the hallway. I need to print things and copy things and prepare things, so I'm going to have a busy day and I'm probably going to be so pooped when I get home, <laughs> but it'll be a good tire because it'll be an accomplished tire. All right, I'll try to kind of pop in here and there and kind of show you the progress just little bits but I'm gonna be pretty busy today so there probably won't be much to show later unless I'm on my way out so I will see you at school hey I've been working in the classroom as you can see taking a break I have these ready to package up they're a little bit of a mess so I just need to straighten the papers in there I'm about a third of the way through packing up the student supplies over here 
but it is slow going because there's a lot of trash. I've taken the Trevor Kid posters up off the walls. I'm just gonna keep plugging along. Okay, so I've got all of their stuff backed up here and here. Now I need to work on these. I just need to put the little, kind of fill out the blanks thing, this, on the top of the stacks and then close the boxes. And then I think I'm done. Then I need to address my envelopes over here and get my happy mail ready to send out. And then I can take everything downstairs to the cafeteria and lay them on the tables and take my mail to the central office so they can put the postage on it. Then I'm gonna get out of here and go home and have some lunch because it'll be really late by then. <laughs> okay, I am happy to report that these pizza box things are done. <laughs> Ooh, that was a deal to get them all done. There's some of them. Here's the rest of them. I'm gonna go through and write their pickup pass number on the, the lid of the box in case it gets separated from their bag that has that number. So the parents are gonna bring their pass and go through like the pickup lane and they just show the number and we can go get their bag and bring it to them. That way they won't get separated, hopefully. And then I can load all of these things onto one of those rolling cart things, take it downstairs, come back, get the other load, take it down, I'm done. And then comes the wonderful joy of dismantling my classroom, which may not happen today because it's getting late. So I'll see what I can do. I'm kind of pooped now though, and I still need to address my envelopes and get them ready to mail. So we'll just see. And it's getting nasty outside. Can you see how dark it is out there? Probably can't. So closer to the windows, you can see it's storming out. It's kind of yuck. Look at that. Eesh. Okay, so that is my plan. Let me get that done, then I'll check in with you. First load is ready to go downstairs. Round two. Here's round two. All right, it's 5.05 and I'm getting out of here. I've got the cubbies cleaned out, taking all their stuff out, clean the nasty apple juice mess I found. Well, sticky nasty. And now I'm just, I was moving stuff around. I got all their books taken out. And they're all over here to be sorted. So I'll do that another day because most of those need to go over here into the classroom library. But some of them need to go here into these. And with all this here, can't really get to those. So I'll be taking things home next time. I didn't get my envelopes addressed. I can do it at home. I just don't have it in me to stay any longer. It's been a long day and I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna load up my stuff here, I think, and hit the road, Jack. Oops. I have a whole drawer of washi tape here that I'm just gonna take home because I don't need it now. And then this, that was for someone else. Uh, got my little love notes ready to go. And I printed my other flat misses bonds because those other ones were messed up that I showed you. I should probably put that in the bag so it doesn't get lost. Otherwise, they're going to be everywhere. All right. So I'm just putting <laughs> stuff in a Ziploc bag right there. Okay. And then these are is money. I didn't really... Oh, I'm not sure what to do with that. I need to give it back to the people, but like, I don't want to leave it in stuff. You know what I mean? 
so I may just maybe leave it in the office. I don't know. I got their shirts all figured out, and I had one leftover. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, I almost forgot my computer. Oh, let's put that in here. And get my keys out so I can drive my car. <laughs> get my envelopes so I can address them. Okay, if I get this stuff in here just right, then I can probably lay this on top. That's what I did last time. And I didn't spill because I didn't want to have to take all this stuff out of the drawer and put it back in the drawer in my house. So hold on just one second. Okay, let's see if I can pull this and not have it complete. Aha! Yay! All right, check it out. Yeah, it worked pretty nicely. Okay, I just need my water <sighs> somewhere. My poor plants, they need more water, I think. I just watered them. Thursday. Probably are looking pretty dry. But I'm going to come back in in a couple days. So I think they'll be all right. I remembered to take the time capsule pages out. Thank goodness. That was our very first day of school that we wrote on those. I put them in their pizza boxes. So I don't know if you got to see the lids very well, but they look like this. And then the inside has kicking stuff. This. Oops that. So that's pretty darn cool. The big pile of stuff I found that I was like, I can't do this. And I did it today. I didn't even do all of it because some of it was just like, like a practice nothing. It wasn't really worth saving in the first place. So yeah, I just going to put them in the round file. Okay. All right. I think I think I can just get out of here. Alrighty, I'm gonna go home. See you later. I wasn't going to vlog anymore, but I thought, why not? So you saw that I got the cubbies cleaned out. You got the bags put on the tables. I don't think I got to show you the tables. So it was a lot of stuff. Maybe when I go back in in a few days, I'll show you that because it's not gonna move. <laughs> They're not picking up stuff for a couple weeks. Um, I found a few things, little odds and ends stuff in the kids' reading boxes. So. Originally, I just started to throw them away and I went, you know, they're not going to pick those bags up right away. I can put them in their bags. That wouldn't be a big deal. So, I'm headed home. It's like 5.40. My husband is going to grab some stuff at the Walmart next to him. Just a couple things. And we are going to have chili cheese dogs for dinner and onion rings. It sounds really good to me. I never ate lunch. I just realized that. I had a bagel for breakfast at like 7 o'clock. And it's now 5.40 and I haven't had anything since. Plus, I'm really thirsty, and this water is nasty. Because the ice has melted, and it just doesn't taste good. <sighs> so you saw that I got the kids' book box cleaned out, and their cubbies, and that stuff. But I don't have any of my room put away. So, that will be more adventures for me. Possibly on Friday, maybe on Thursday. I, I need to email my principal and see if it would be okay to come in, because... We're on a schedule, so we don't have too many people in the building at a time. But I think if I just stay in my room, it would be fine, because I'm going to be the only one up there, probably. But I'll just make sure it's okay first before I just go in. So tomorrow, I am going to do food distribution on the bus again. And I think it's the same route that I was on last time. So cool. But I have a different partner this time. It's a kindergarten teacher. So I'll be having some nice conversations with her. And that'll be fun. I have a special shirt to wear since it'll be Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. And I will show you tomorrow. Wednesday is my big screen day where I do my Zooms and my Google Meet with my team. So I have reading group. And then I have a little bit of time. Then I have my PLC meeting with my team. And then a little bit of time. And then another reading group. So that will be cool. But that's why Wednesdays are kind of tiring. Because when you're on screens, I don't know. It just it seems like it takes a lot out of you. Those of you that do like Zooms and Google Meets and stuff like that, Hangouts, whatever, doesn't it seem like those are really tiring? I don't know. Maybe it's because you just feel like you have to be on all the time. I don't know. I've read some articles and psychologists have kind of said that virtual meetings like that are more exhausting. For one thing, you can't really see what the other person is doing. Um, you can't read all the body cues that you normally could if you're physically in front of them. So and you have to concentrate a lot more and you only see a little portion of them and it's just different. So, 
The plan so far for our district is that we'll start school as normal, whatever that is. But we don't know the future. We don't know if there'll be another wave or whatever. So we're just kind of playing it by ear. I was just telling some of my teammates today, I said, you know, this is the time of year where I order a new planner. And I order one of those like blue sky planners or I get one at Target or Walmart. They're like $10. And they're the 8 by 10 so they're the really nice big size. And I like to start planning out my year. Like, what do I want to do this month? What do I want to do this month? And I went ahead and ordered one. I think I may have mentioned that to you earlier. I don't remember anymore. My brain is just... So, if I did, I apologize that I'm saying it again. But, yeah, I did order one and I'll show it to you when it comes. But, I think I'm going to pencil things in. <laughs> because we don't really know what the future holds. And it's just an easy feeling knowing that, you know? Knowing that you don't know. It's just a, yeah, it's an icky feeling. Like there's not really a lot you can count on other than each other, which is good, but it's just strange, yeah. Well, I hope you had a good day, whatever you were doing, wherever you were. Hope your students were great if you were trying to virtually teach, and I hope that your personal children were great if you were trying to virtually teach, or if you're just home with them. So, Caitlin is working tonight. I won't see her. I haven't seen her all day. I saw her asleep, that's it. <laughs> and she will probably get home super late. I might see her tomorrow if she gets up early enough. I need to leave to go to the bus at like 9.45. She might be up by then, depending on how late she works tonight. But if she's not, it's okay. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have a shirt when I get home. Like, yeah, I have a shirt on now, but like in the mail. And I think it might be my Get Your Virtual Teach On shirt. I'm not sure, from GYTO. I'm also expecting some shirts from the Right Stuff Chicks. I think I ordered four shirts from them. They had an $11 shirt sale, which is super awesome, like half price. A little bit cheaper than half price. So yeah, I went ahead and went a little crazy, but I have not been ordering teacher tees. I kind of made up for it over this whole quarantine time. <laughs> I was talking to Vicki on Instagram, one of my friends that's a first tea teacher in Florida. Hi, Vicki. And she was saying that she's been doing a lot of shopping too. <laughs> and I'm like, it's kind of, because there's not a whole lot else to do. <laughs> and people are like putting sales on and you see all this stuff and it's like, ooh, I wanna get that one and that one and that one. And like I said some other time, I don't have a lot of teacher tees because I don't have a huge occasion to wear teacher tees like I would like to. But um, that's kind of my uniform now. And I'm gonna show you a picture of what I'm wearing here because I took one earlier, a selfie in my classroom right there. Isn't that cute? Be the eye and kind. This is from Teacher's Crate and it just came Friday, I believe. Yes. Because I got my mail right before I did my Fun Friday Zoom and I didn't have time to open it. And it was sitting over there and I knew it was sitting over there and it was I was thinking about it the whole time. <laughs> Isn't that dumb? But I was excited because I knew that I had an Amazon shirt that came. This is what I'm wearing tomorrow and I'll show you tomorrow. And then I had this one and I was like, oh, this looks so exciting. And I should be having another one coming probably next month. So if you don't know about Teacher's Crate, I'll link it below for you, but there's two there are two different ones. There's the Teacher's Crate and there's the Teacher's Crate wearables. Now the Teacher's Crate has a shirt and then stuff for your classroom and stuff for your kids. Then the Teacher's Crate wearables has a different shirt and usually a pair of socks or like a necklace or something. I got a watch one time, it's really cute. That's the wearables on the end of Teacher's Crate. There's one of each of those for each month. So you get a sneak peek, which is really nice because like with FabFitFun, you never know for sure what you're getting and those are like $50 and it's always really nice things, but sometimes there are things that you wouldn't normally use. So it's almost like you just spent money on something that just sits in a box like at my house. Yeah. So these are nice because you will use them and you get to see them ahead of time and if you don't want them, then you don't order that month. You just say skip that month. It's no big deal. So I looked ahead to the May ones. They are cute. They are amazing. <laughs> so yeah, they ship at the toward. The, they ship toward the end of the month. So this is April's, and I just got it, like I said, Friday. And today's Monday, so a few days ago. So the May ones will ship at the end of May. So everything is like a month ahead. Yeah. So this one would be the shirt you would wear in May, but it's the April subscription box. Does that make sense? 
So I think the ones from May have to do with like virtual teaching, which is perfect. So cool. And some of us, or a lot of us, may be doing some more of this in the fall. We don't know for sure. We don't know what's going to happen. And we're just going to roll with it because we're teachers and that's what we do. Yep. So if my mail is in my mailbox, you'll get to see it right away. And if it's not in my mailbox, you'll still get to see it right away because the power of videos makes time lapse for easy. <laughs> so I'll see you in a little bit. There was nothing in my mailbox, but maybe there's something on my steps. No. I see nothing. Oh, it's possible that my daughter brought it in for me though. So maybe there's a surprise inside the house. Well, I know there's going to be another surprise, which won't be a surprise to me because the cats are going to be starving. Probably when I get in, I'm going to have five little sets of beady eyes staring at me because they're starving to death or they think they are. Because normally I feed them around four and it's like 10 till six. So they probably think I forgot about them and don't even care anymore. Just abandon them, poor things. Well, I'm going to go feed the cats and if I have a shirt to show you, I'll do that. And if not, I'll see you tomorrow.